Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. It's our third day here in Australia and we have four viewings booked today so we thought we would bring you along. Yeah, we're really excited to, to go check these out. So we've got the first one over in Broad Beach, mm -hmm. which is around a 10 minute driveway. Then we're gonna come back to Surfers and check out another apartment. And later on in the day, we've got the one that we're most looking forward to actually, yes. midday. This seems a really cool place. Yeah, so we'll catch up with you guys after the two viewings and then we'll take you on the two viewings in the afternoon as well. Okay, so here is the building from the outside. It's in Broad Beach and it's a two bedroom apartment for 950 Australian dollars a week. It's on the seventh floor. So this is the living area, the dining space, kind of an open plan kitchen diner. Then this is the bedroom two on the left. I think there's a sliding door. You've got some wardrobes over in the corner and it has its own ensuite, but you can also access this ensuite from the entrance kitchen area so you could use it as a guest bathroom if you wanted as well coming on to the balcony it's a southeast facing apartment so you can see the ocean on the left and that green playing field was actually a school so instantly i thought would it be really loud maybe at lunchtime that was kind of a red flag for me but i'm not sure but the view of the ocean looked absolutely incredible and the balcony was pretty big you could put some nice chairs and a table out there coming back to the living space there were just some other people on the inspection with us. And then another look at the view and the couch. The good thing about this apartment is it does come fully furnished. So everything you see came with the apartment because currently we have no furniture in, in Australia. So this is the main bedroom. The ensuite is on the right as you walk in. Modern gray towels and then the sliding wardrobe is just ahead. Coming around the corner into the main bed area. And then you've also got a view out to the ocean from this room. Both bedrooms were actually pretty similar sized. Um, so pretty good for two bedrooms. And then coming back out to the living and kitchen space. The kitchen island was gorgeous. I loved this modern kitchen so much. Um, and the grey tiles on the back there. They're stunning. So also have a laundry room, which I was happy with. Because you always need a laundry room. And yeah, that's the end of the tour. Oh, actually we've got the communal areas. So this was like a, I don't know, like a living space area. You could also see the swimming pool. So all the residences, resi if you're living in the building, sorry, you can use this. Um, it's for everyone to use. And this is the swimming pool. So you've got some sunbeds, two showers, and a long, thin pool if you want to do some laps <laughs> and then you can also see outside which i thought was cool and this building did also have a gym we couldn't go inside because somebody was actually doing yoga but you can see through the glass there's some treadmills and i think a bike machine but yeah that's fine then coming back through this way this was also able to use for anyone that lived in the building it was kind of like a huge kitchen dining area Maybe if you were having a party or had loads of friends over, you could use this. And then you can actually see into the pool, which I thought was quite cool. And this is the lobby slash concierge area, which is nice and modern. And then the lifts up to the apartment are just there. Okay, on our way to the next viewing, the agent kindly let us have a ride with her because the viewing was actually with her anyway. And this one was in Surfers Paradise, so around a 10 minute drive. And this was the building from the outside, a little bit of an older building. There were actually no pictures of the outside on the real estate listing online. So it was a little bit older. And this is also a two bed priced at 800 Australian dollars. First thing we thought was it was a bit of a catfish compared to the listing online. I'll pop the listing online up on the screen, but it had like really nice furniture and it just looked a lot better online than in person when you kind of want them to look better in person um, when you're viewing them. But this was the balcony, a little bit further set back from the beach and this would be like the living area slash dining space. And coming into the main bedroom, it was a really interesting wooden bed. <laughs> and the ensuite is just here, kind of reminded me of Bali, the sink area. And this is the shower around the corner. So I think all those doors slided open. So you had like a Juliet balcony in your bedroom and then kind of an interesting feature wall over there. 
Sadly, this was the second bedroom, so technically in the UK you can't class that as a second bedroom when there's no fire escape and it wasn't like a proper window. And here's another look. Oh no, this is a new bathroom. This has a bath in it. We haven't seen this one yet. Um, but yeah, this was not our favorite, um, but it was still good to see and compare it to the rest. Here's another look at the view. And then we walked all the way from the, that listing, that viewing, sorry, back to our Meriton building, which we're currently staying in. And we've actually viewed an apartment in this building for long-term rent. And that's been our favorite one so far, but we're definitely looking around and comparing all the others as well before we sign a six month tenancy. Hey guys, we made it to our next viewing. So this is called View, B-U-E. It's a really modern building. Show. Yeah, up. this is it. This is beautiful. beautiful building. How about the location? Well, that's the beach, so we're pretty close to the beach. The beach, the beach. <laughs> um, we're gonna go view. I think this is a three bed now, so we'll go check it out. Let's go. Take us along. Okay, here is the entrance. I loved the architecture of this building and we're about to go inside the concierge area. I love the concrete style effect on the walls and the flooring. And you can also see some plants up there. I really, really liked the style of the communal areas. So it's a three bed apartment for 1300 a week. And this was the third bedroom. I wasn't too keen that there was no window. Um, that was the only thing for me that let it down. Got a laundry room and then the open plan kitchen, dining and living space. So you've got a six seater table, a large kitchen, and this apartment is fully furnished too. So everything you see would come within the rental price. And then this was a really nice big pantry, which I found really good storage. And then you've got the induction hob and oven and fridge on the left. And then coming back round to the living space, this is kind of the sofa area, and then you've got sliding doors out to the balcony. Um, this was in Broad Beach too, if I didn't mention, so a little bit further out than Surface Paradise. I love this balcony. The view, again, is incredible. I think we were on the 13th floor. Um, so yeah, very, very nice view. A little pan, you can kind of see the big Peppers building, and Meriton in the distance. But you can get a big table out here, and then back through the living space. This way is the two bedrooms. So you've got a bathroom here with a shower. This would ideally be the guest bathroom or the second and third bedrooms bathroom. And this is bedroom two. I did sit on the bed and you can see the ocean from the bed, which is pretty cool. And then you've got wardrobe space, pretty good size second bedroom. And then into the main bedroom, a little bit bigger and you can also see the ocean which is amazing from this view the only thing that i really wish this apartment had was the third bedroom with an ocean view as well or at least windows to the outside um, but yeah this is the walk-in wardrobe i also much prefer wardrobe spaces where they have cupboards on so the clothes aren't all out and then this is the ensuite there was mirror storage which I thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> I love mirror storage. If you watch the real estate channel that we have, you'll know. But anyway, anyway this walk-in wardrobe was really nice because all the other apartments we viewed haven't had that. But yeah, this is the main part of the apartment. And that's pretty much wrap of the tour. Coming back out to the balcony where Matt's chilling out. Now the last look at the view. And then we'll go check out the communal areas. Here we go. So coming out here, you've got a outdoor swimming pool and a barbecue section. So it was quite busy actually, some families were having a barbecue out here and a few kids in the pool. I'm not sure what this guy was doing with the um, noodle, he was just slapping the water, kind of weird. <laughs> and then you can kind of see the ocean through the trees. This was one barbecue area, there was another section which a family were using. It was a really cool vibe. And then there was actually another barbecue section and courtyard that we didn't go around, but you can kind of see it there. These doors were pretty cool that Matt and I found and it took you inside the kind of communal uh, toilets and sauna. 
this was just off by the pool and then you've got a sauna Matt and I love a sauna and a steam room so this was a real benefit and then a shower up there and then a public toilet here's another look at the lobby area it's a double height story which makes it look pretty cool love the interior design of the communal areas and then here are the lifts but they took forever to come up so we decided to take the stairs and it was a bit of a mission to be fair the agent hadn't done the stairs before and then we actually ended up the tour was to outside so yeah that is the end of the viewing okay well that viewing has finished now it was a gorgeous building i loved the interior design and architecture inside the communal areas especially and now we've just decided to come to the beach because literally it's on the doorstep and we're probably going to walk back to surface now and just go on the beach rather than the road and get our feet in the sand. Yeah, get grounding. Keep going, Sammy. I'm going to show everyone actually what yeah. the overall beach looks like. So big. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. And then look, there's the jewel yeah. towers. <laughs> Amazing. This is the life we've made. Wait, this is literally like the vision board, but I think yeah. the other way. Look how incredible this beach is. So that's that way. And then look. Miles and miles. Carrying on our walk down the beautiful beach. Wow, enjoying it, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> so that's our building over in the distance. Oh, it's so gorgeous, guys, to walk. And we've had our feet in the ocean. Love it so much. Hey, guys, so we just got back from the mall. Well, I don't think it's a mall, actually. It's like a little shopping area in South Paradise to set up our phone contracts um, so we can have data and our phones working. And the viewing actually didn't go ahead this afternoon, so we actually did three viewings today. Let us know in the comments which one you preferred. Um, we're personally still loving the Meriton ones with the two beds and then facing directly out to the ocean and to the east, I think it is? No. South. Southeast. East. east. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so that's our favourite so far. We're going to see if anything else comes on the market, but there's literally not much on the market. I mean, the property market's crazy here and things just go really quickly. So we'll keep an eye out. And if we do any more viewings, we'll take you guys along and we'll let you know if anything changes. But we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And there's so many more Gold Coast vlogs coming your way. So stay tuned. What is Matt doing? Do you want to say bye to the vlog, Maddie? Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. And now, Saturday night. So Woo! See you later. See ya.